Barbara Jean was dressed like Kira? Oh, yeah. Buckle for buckle. Wow. That must have looked like a ventriloquist with her dummy. This is so sad. Kira dresses horribly. That's not the worst part. Same shoes. No. Oh, and Brock left. Kira seized power. And Kira's never been good with power. Remember the time when I had to go to the store and I had Kira watch Jake? And by the time I got back, she had changed his name to Philip? Mm -hmm. You know, though, he looks like a Philip. I think it's just best if she moves back home. That is never going to happen, Mom. Come on, she's living every teenager's dream. She's running the house. The person who used to be the parent is now basically like a roommate that can drive. You know, that's probably why she's been canceling all those dinners. I mean, why come over here when she can do whatever she wants over there? Starting to wonder what we're doing over here. This is a mess. This whole Brock moving out thing was dumb. Now it's getting even dumber. Well, what are you going to do, Mrs. H? Can you force her to move back here? Well, I don't want to do anything rash if it's only going to be a day or two. But I'll have to do something if this foolishness gets worse and Brock, God forbid, decides to move out permanently. Wait a minute. You don't think that could really happen, do you? Happened to me. <laughs> You know what this is? This is screwed up. No, honey, don't worry. Your dad will be back eventually. Soon he'll get tired of all that peace and quiet. It's not funny, Van. I didn't mean anything. I know. He's gonna go back, isn't he? You know what, Van? I used to be able to read Brock like a book. Of course, it was a fiction book, but nevertheless, I could read it. <laughs> Lately, I just, I just can't do it. Hey. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> right about what? It doesn't matter. All that matters is I was right. <laughs> do me a favor, would you? Pretend that I came over to borrow something. I just need a little break from Chatty Jake. <laughs> So how's the condo coming along? Actually, starting to look pretty good. When are you going to rent it out again? Oh, I don't know. We'll just have to see how things go. You are going to rent it out again, right? Like I said, Reba, we'll just have to see how things go. You want my opinion? No. Well, that's never stopped me before. <laughs> Brock, what you need to do is stop all this silliness. Do whatever you have to do, but get back into that house. You know... My therapist says working on the marriage is a lot like fixing up the condo. If I'm going to do it right, I have to do it all the way. So I'm not going to stop until this job is done. Well, maybe you need to tell your therapist that there's a difference. You're living in your condo while you're fixing it up. Maybe you need to live in your marriage, too. Oh, okay, I'll pass that right along. Huh? All right. Hold it. Hold it just a second. Just give me an idea how long this little game of yours is going to Stop calling it a little game or silliness. This is the most serious thing in my life right now, okay? Okay. Hey, there you are. Glad I found you. Not so glad I found you on your angry bench. <laughs> Look, Cheyenne, I wasn't making light of what's going on with your ben, dad and Barbara. does marriage mean anything? What marriage? Our marriage? No, any marriage. Just marriage. Saying that you're going to be with one person forever. Well, yeah, of course it does. Does it? I mean, really, Ben, or is it, is it just like when you're a kid and, and you say your favorite candy is Reese's Pieces, and then you go to a candy store and you pick up a box of Raisinets? And then someone comes up to you and they say, Hey, I thought your favorite candy was Reese's Pieces. And you say, I thought so too, but you're standing there with a box of raisinets in your hand. What are you saying? <laughs> that you would pick raisinets over Reese's Pieces? Um, I'm trying to be serious. I know, babe. You're just, you're just upset. Mm. And you're upset because of something that happened between Barbara Jean and your dad. Well, guess what, Cheyenne? You and I are not them. She's kind of an airhead, and he's kind of a big goof. We're not them. We're not, are we? <laughs>
No. Man, I don't know what marriage means to them or to anybody else. But does marriage mean something to you and me? Of course it does. You know what it means? It means you're the only piece of candy I even see in the store. <laughs> I'll unwrap you. <laughs> <laughs> Philip. Van. 